Typically when you begin, you would start off by going into your settings, you would set up your units, and uh, you would uh, run through uh, what types of uh, values you'd like for the uh, file you're working with, you know, what layers you're going to put on. You can put each path onto its own unique layer, and, you know, there's plenty of things you can do in here to get your drawing set up properly. So we're going to start off by demonstrating, demonstrating the auto drive arc. So I'm just going to go up, I'm going to choose auto drive arc. You can see it does grab the default vehicle and attaches it to my cursor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to pick a point. You want to make sure your snaps are off so you're not snapping to uh, road line work and striping and things. Pick a point and it places my vehicle. And you can see now it's looking for an orientation. Now obviously the closer end of the vehicle, the more dramatic of a, of a placement it, it, it makes. The farther out I, I drag, the much more precise it does lay itself out. So I'll just go ahead and pick another arbitrary point. Uh, once I do that, I get my vehicle position editor that comes up on the screen. And it, it's not a big deal if you maybe put it in the wrong place or made a mistake. You can come in here afterwards and choose to replace it or readjust the orientation, things like that. Once you're happy with it, you can then choose what type of vehicle you'd like to use. By default, again, you do choose your own default vehicle, uh, but it can be changed at any time. So right now I'm looking at a simple school bus, and so I'll just go ahead and work with that. So I'll say proceed. And now the, uh, the tool come up, and these are your, your, your auto drive tool settings. And uh, usually it comes in in a compact mode, but you can continue to show additional details. So you want to set your design speed so that the curves that you're placing, as you can see, I'm moving my cursor. <clears throat> the curves are being uh, placed as I begin to lay out my, my drive path. And uh, you want to make sure that the speed uh, has been set properly so that the curves can accommodate that. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this the way it is for right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and come in and I'll click a couple spots. And I might move into the turn lane a little bit. Come in. And then I'll attempt to make this turn. You can see it's very simple and easy and as you do that it just continues to go ahead and place those. And then uh, you'll notice as I'm moving around I have several indicators that we can turn on turn off that'll help you with your design. First thing you'll notice is that purple arrow, arrow. You'll notice the numbers that change and what that does is it tells me the degree of the steering wheel turn. And you can see when I'm at uh, full lock, which is as hard as you can turn that steering wheel, it does show me that my wheels are locked at 100% in any given direction, knowing I'm maximizing my curve radius. So I can use that, and you can see the wheels are changing as well, um, as I'm laying out my design to understand how dramatic these uh, turns are going to be. I can also very easily make changes to these. If I accidentally click and I didn't want this, I put it in the wrong place, all I have to do is move my cursor right back onto it and you'll see a little red box show up. If I just click again, it will remove that position and I can go back and continue to lay it out however I see fit. When I'm done, I just right click, it exits, and you see I have a number of grips that have shown up. And I can utilize these grips to make changes. Now the uh, little plus sign grips or the little X grips, if you will. Those are my target points. Those are the points I clicked. So if I want to reposition my drive path, I can very easily do that through those. If I hit the little plus signs, this will actually insert an additional target point. And you, don't want, to, you want to avoid those a little bit because if you continue to put those in, it's going to have that many more targets it's going to have to drive through and it's going to be a little bit harder to edit those things a little bit later.